Well, very rare to see the Thai fighter have less wins than the foreign fighter. Very, very rare. Yusuf. <clears throat> Excuse me. There are no easy roads here in this stadium no for way. him to be wearing that gold on his belt. Uh, and for him to be standing here but defending these be uh, uh, the belts, I should say. He's got a formidable Lumpini champion standing opposite him who's got other thoughts on his mind, right? Oh, absolutely. Here we go, Teddy. The pre-main event of the night. In some eyes, the main event. Here we go. On the Middleweight supremacy at stake. Tell the tape. They didn't see the size, did not see much of a difference. But looking at them live now, Yusuf is a lot bigger. A lot bigger than Nopakao. Sure, he's had he's had quite you know he's had about 13 hours reload time this morning. Catch there. This morning they both weighed in 160 pounds on the button. Boom, both yep. of them. All right, Nopakao there with some beautiful defense there to negate the sweep, jumping in the air and keeping his balance. Great check kick there too. Yeah, by nice the time. check kick by Nopakao. So fast, Yusuf. So strong with those kicks. Round one. Who's going to get off early? Live from Rajadamnan Stadium. Ooh, great, great body this shot there by the champ. the trifecta. Rajadamnan, Phoenix, and WBC. Doesn't get bigger. Titans. No, it doesn't get bigger than that. It's history as far as I'm concerned. Oh, Ooh. a cheeky trip. Cheeky, on cheeky the, trip the, by the Nampakao. The, the, the simplicity of that trip as well. I think wow. it surprised the champ as well. Surprised me too. This is what I said backstage. A lot of guys asking me for my opinion. I said, watch mm -hmm. the fight. Napakao has skills. Great combo there. He's not the Lumpini Stadium champion for nothing. Oh, come on. Earn that on Murderer's Row, man. You know, this big, big body shot by the champ. Big yeah. knees as well. Now, uh, this is where... Uh, He's going to throw yeah, free combos here. He's, He's not gonna... seeing any fluidity there, so no dominance from either fighter. No progression in the clinch. Breaks it up. I love the way the ref talks to the fighters during the fight. Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's do it. Show heart. Show skill. Let's fight. Fight. Ooh, big, big kick there onto the champion there. Both guys wearing those beautiful PSM customized gloves. They're fantastic yeah, looking gloves. Nice. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, huge Up top there. left body kick by Yusuf. The speed on behind that kick. And coming from the front leg as well to negate that fantastic effort. Oh, great, great knee there. Finish up that combo. Yeah, what a Champ beautiful looks combination. Looks good right now. Looks crisp. Oh! Teddy. Clinical. This is why he's the champion. Wow. Oh, oh vicious. Wow. Follows that combo up with a vicious, vicious knee. I can feel those knees all the way up here in the commentary booth. Final 35 seconds of round one. The clock on your screen is about 20 seconds behind. We apologize for that, guys. I've been apologizing for that all night, but no, it's got to be done. No, per couch on sneaking an elbow there. Oh, big... Yeah. Big combo again by so the far, so good from uh, Yusef. Besides the push kick, sorry, Kevin. Besides the push kick, the champion's been throwing three to four shots every combo, every time. Look at the size of the leg muscles on Napakao. Yeah, that guy doesn't miss leg day at all. Wow, incredible. Do they even Maybe. know what leg day is in Thailand in the Muay Thai gyms? What wow. a very, very interesting opening stanza. Very interesting. You said it perfectly. Yusef doesn't even want to sit down on his chair, on his stool. Look at that. <laughs> he doesn't want to sit down. There he goes. No, I'm not sitting down. No, no, Pokal, though. He takes that big smile on his face there. Napakao is from the uh, Siri Luk Muay Thai gym in northern Thailand, Udon Thani. But he's been training a lot of the time down in Bangkok since he started back fighting at Lumpini Stadium and training at the uh, Rachanon gym here in Bangkok. Teddy, your thoughts so far, round number one. I mean, I saw a promise from both fighters, man. I mean, really, they both looked really good, really crisp. Um, I just thought the champion was throwing more. You know, his combos seemed a lot more put together uh, and not so reactive. More clinical? Before. Exactly, yep, yep, yep. More decisive? Yep, I thought he was actually dictating it a little bit more, okay. controlling a little bit more. Not like, he totally controlled the round, but I think he did control it a little bit more. But, I mean, it's round one. We've seen... We've seen people lose around one, two, and half of three and come back and destroy. Absolutely, so, agree. So it's, it's still early, but as far as round one, I think the champ looks great. Challenger looks great, but I do think the champ got Take a Take us uh, through round one, please. There's that beautiful catch there. Look at his defense. Jumps again. He'll jump one more time. Beautiful defense there by yeah, fantastic. the uh, Rotterdam champ. There was that great kick there, but he ate a right punch, though. Ate a right hand, and that was that. You know, where did that come from, Kevin? Other 
other fighters can be put off, their mindset, their psyche can be changed with something like that. But when you're a champion of Yusuf's level, it's just another notch. You don't mind, you don't care about those things. When he defended his belt here last year against Yad Payak, he got knocked to the canvas from a thunderous head kick. And how he got up from that, to this day, I'll never know. I'll understand. Wow, head kick. The Mui gods were watching over him that night. And not only that, he came back and he knocked Yad Payak out in the fourth round. Yeah, that's amazing. The true grit and heart of a champion. Yes. There you go, there you go. Three. Round two, live, Rajat Eminem Stadium, Phoenix Fighting Championship 5, Napukau, Thailand, Blue Trucks, Yusef Buginim, Red Trunks. Triple title fight, WBC, Rajat Eminem, Phoenix. Here we go, round two. Teddy Mulvey alongside Kevin New bringing the action. Thanks for tuning in. Double elbows by both people. Champion gets off first. Challenger retaliates. Wow. That beautiful high guard that Yusef just perfectly holds the entire fight. Who else was doing that in his fight tonight early on? His brother. That's Yassin. right. That's right. That same robotic stance, but it works. It works. It's proven. Oh, good catch by the challenger. What's he going to do oh. with it? Oh. He did well to hold on yep, there nice and continue sweep. the tenacity to, and perseverance to drop Yusef onto the canvas. Excellent job by Nap Napakau. Two minutes exactly left in this round. This is champion versus champion. It's Boom. also challenger versus champion because, of course, Yusef is defending two belts, Phoenix and Rajadamnin. Napakau has taken two big punches here in this second round and he just... He didn't, he didn't budge. Yeah, champion people get those looping hooks around the guard of the challenger. Such good technique, such cerebral. Yeah, fantastic. From the champ, of course, smart as they come. Very interesting chess match happening right now between both guys. Well, this is what I love here, yeah. this grueling, dirty yeah. boxing right there. Yeah, oh, yeah. pop from the crowd on the break. You're looking for dominance, you're looking for destruction, you're looking for effective aggressiveness in that clinch. Champ's got him on the ropes. Oh, that knee is so crisp. But you know that knee? I love the way he launches something to delude, yep. to lure his opponent into it. Throws the hook, then yep. the knee just Shuts comes straight up. up. Yep. That's hours and hundreds of hours in the gym in Pattaya working on that day in, day out, noon and night. There you go, noon. Hashtag Kevin Noon. Big kick there. Now Thailand's getting behind the native, aren't they? Yeah. Napikau 50 knows. 50 seconds left. He knows the stadium scoring. Big elbow by Yusef. Oh, though. huge elbow again by the champ inside. Huge oh. elbow by Yusef. Good Definitely right stunned the champion, the Lumpini champion. Good catch, turns, or oh, huge bombs now by the champ. Oh, here we have a fight. Oh, guys. he's raining now. Oh, oh man. Wow. I was going to say that was a good technique by Napagal to turn away from that kick. Napagal, though, with elbow <laughs> of his own. Yusef just on him like a crazy Muay Savant. That, that knee is so beautiful, man. This is a war of attrition. There's no question about that. The combinations yeah. that Yusef, he's so stoic, he's so unemotional in the ring. He's just... Like the Terminator, he's got this one focus, and that's just come forward all the time. Power and accuracy, too. That, that, that's a deadly combination. It's what the champion's holding right now. Sure is, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Round two in the books. Now, wow. in the, uh, Siri Luk, I mean, sorry. Napagao trains out of Siri Luk Muay Thai. That's his home gym in Udon Thani. Okay. But in Bangkok, he trains out of the famous Rajanon gym. And, of course, if the camera goes to the blue corner now, you'll see the big boss in the gray shirt. That's Mr. Vichai Rachanon. He's a, a Navy Admiral, and he owns the gym. Okay. And you can just see him now. He's come in at the end of this round. He stayed away in the early rounds. He's come in now to give some guidance to uh, Napakao. Guidance, he needs it. He does look great, though. I don't think he can take those body knees th for that much longer. I mean, those are just How vicious, long? man. But it's not just that. But Yusef, is, his, uh, his scoring is so clinical right now. You got dominance, you got destruction, and you got a little bit of deflection from Yusef. It's, uh, he's doing everything he needs to do right now. Napakao is in the fight, no question about that. But if he wants to snatch this Rajat Amnon belt away from Yusef, he's got a lot of work to do. Teddy, round There's two, that please. There's beautiful catch there. And he waited, he didn't get the first one, got the second one. Beautiful tenacity there by the yeah, challenger, Napakao. I hope they show that big one too from Yusef. Yeah. Cross. Wow. There's a good exchange there by the champ. 
Big knees inside by the challenger, retaliated by the champ. Bit of a scramble. What an excellent production team we have here, these camera angles, fantastic work. That body shot really rocked the champ, you saw it from that smile. And this is when he just unloads on yeah. him here. Boom, boom, power. Usually that technique will work. You that elbow to... right there, boom. Squirm your way out of someone holding your leg like that, but Yusin was just on him. Phoenix Fight, thank you so much for coming to the great kingdom of Thailand. Non-stop action. This is fight number six of our nine fights on the card tonight. Next up, we have the main event. But to some, this is the main event. Round number three. Rajad Emnan, Phoenix, and WBC title fights. Buganem Napagao, Morocco, Thailand. Live from Rajad Emnan Stadium. Oh. oh! Inside elbow, swing and a miss. This is round three or round one of the money rounds. You can see right now the action, Kevin, is already picked up. Big signature move by Yusuf with that step in elbow. Keep looking for that movement in the, throughout the entirety of this fight. Big knee there, oh, pop big in the crowd. Knee, yeah. Crowd got behind that knee. Now they're both buoyant. You can see the gamblers changing their mindsets. Some of them are backing their homegrown fighter. Oh, big body rip there. The challenger initiating the clinch, but doesn't get much done there. You just have to see Napagao needs to bring more pressure, more clean, more. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh. And a spinning elbow lands just under the arm of the challenger. How tough to this point is the chin of Napagao. Oh, Napagao tries to go up top. It's stupendous how tough he is right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Slip there. Oh, there's that beautiful one two combo. Oh, wow. Hits him with that knee at the end and then that trip. Champion against if champion. If you want to study a guy who throws combinations so effective, Yusef is your guy. Yeah, absolutely. Yusef egging him on there, saying, come on, man, I can take that. Crowd Big double knee there, switch knee in the air. Ooh, referee says going a bit low. Referee, yeah, looking for more cleaner action here in the, in the fight. Final, halfway through, round number three. Again, our clocks are about again. 10 seconds off, guys, if you're watching this fight. Both fighters catching those kicks. Defense is so good, so top-notch here, oh, Kevin. This, yeah, this is a great fight. This is a fight. This is a fight. This is elite champion versus elite champion. This is what it's all about. We have a war on our hands, Kevin, for sure. Great Someone push kick there. is going home with a smile on his face tonight. Will it be the Moroccan king or the Thai lion? 50 seconds left, round number three. Buganem red trunks, Napagao blue trunks. Oh, Yusef oh, is having it all his own yep. way in that corner. Another pop oh, with the elbow on the way out. just launches elbow. Oh, now they're phone booth this fighting is Kevin. A, oh, yeah, baby. Here this we is go. it. Napagao is just, he's just urging Yusef forward. This big is, oh, knees. Big my knees. goodness. This is uh -oh. Muay Thunder. This is around the same area of the ring where oh, wow. Yusef destroyed oh, Yepe Yat. Oh, he's oh. elbow fest now, man. Those elbows are landing. Oh, 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 oh. That's it. Wait, wait. And that is it. It might have been an orbital bone or a broken nose, but there was something that happened there. And hail to the king. Yusuf Borganam retains his titles and wins the WBC title. Congratulations, the warrior in the ring. Yeah, let's take a look back at the final there. He saw something there. Oh, wow. Mel Parkow is trying to get out of the ring as quick as he can. Don't see anything. No blood there, no big swelling quite yet. Something happened though, let's take a look. And these are just elbows, elbows. And then he just, oh, he just, just no moss. Just no moss, just, just says I've had enough. He just took a lot of punishment there. Seemed to have been knocked out on his feet. Oh, about, yeah. And you sit there going for the kill. Of course, protect yourself at all times. You know, there's no timeouts here in Muay Thai. It's just elbow after elbow. Yusuf saw something. He smelled blood and he went for it. And Nopakao could not hang. 
He said, no mas, congratulations to the newly crowned WBC King, Maratsu Dunman champion, of course, and Phoenix champion for middleweight. That is Yusef the middleweight Bukayem. king, Yusuf Boganem. Wow, oh, what a fight. ผู้นำแข่งขันแชมป์ราชดำเนินครับประธานคณะกรรมการจัดอันดับมวยเวทีราชดำเนินคุณพรหมเมธจักษุรักครับขอเรียนเชิญครับอาณาภาพเรียน